Before this video starts, man, I want to give a huge shout out to Zigzag for sponsoring this video. In every video, we're about to be giving away a Zigzag pack to every artist that we interview. Inside of these packs, you can see it's, bro, it's like a care package. You got ashtrays, you got papers, you got cones, everything you need. Go check out their links. Links will be down in the description. Tell them Marty sent you. And without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so who am I here with? No tech. Yeah, not living enough. Hey, this blood, I'm taking a puff. All right, so for the people out there that don't really know what you do, can you kind of explain a little bit about yourself and what you do? I make music, uh, make clothes, I direct videos, I make beats. I'm a creative. You direct videos? I do everything, bro. I'm a creative. That's really what I do. And you make clothes, so you, you made this outfit you got on? No, I didn't make the clothes I'm wearing. I definitely style myself, but on the side, I make clothes too. Okay. So I see you got some drip on. Can we do like a quick little drip check? What you got? What you got on? Yeah, sure. This is just like a jacket I got for my birthday. How much was the Chrome Hearts? Uh, this is like ten thousand. Ten thousand. Damn. <laughs> that way you said it like ten thousand. How much was the shirt? Um, I don't even know what the shirt was. This was a gift, but I would guess it was like I don't know. Gift is priceless. What about? I see you got. I see you got the, some chains and jewelry, man. How, how much was the the chain? Um. Each or no, all together. All together. Who was a jeweler? Haas. Haas. My friend Haas in Atlanta. Shout out Haas. Okay. Uh, how much was the bracelets? I don't know. These probably like a couple hundred each. Got these from H. Lorenzo. And uh, those are chrome hearts. Yeah. This is the dice. It's matching my own dice wallet chain. Oh, so that's 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 not chrome hearts too, right? No, this is chrome hearts too. Oh, that's why. Nah, I see you, my boy. I see you got the tech custom. Yeah. How much what was that? I don't even know. Prices, yeah. Prices? Yeah, I guess so. What about the jeans? Let's see, I got this flare jeans. Flare? Yeah. Uh, how much was the jeans? I don't remember. Probably like fifteen hundred. Tim's? No. Just some black like boots. Okay. Dad boots? Just some black boots. Black boots? Yeah. Uh, how much was the black boots? <laughs> I think like eight hundred. Yeah. Okay, I see you, you, you tripping out here. What about the glasses? Those are the iconic glasses. I think there was 600 or something. 600? Yo, why did everybody say you? You know annoying? You yeah. ever heard of annoying? Annoying why everybody, Yeah, why everybody say you look like him? We got similar glasses, I guess. Yeah, that ass do look alike, though. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you for the observation. Of course. So how did you get your name Lil Tekka? Like, how did that, how did that name come about? It just dropped from under the sky. And it resonated with me. It just dropped from the sky? It just dropped from the sky, and then I was Lil Tekka. I thought it was... Going some real shit, though. I seen it on the gram, and I took that shit. Oh! I, thought it was, I thought it was like some girl that you was fucking with or some shit. Yeah, on the gram. I seen it on the gram. That's someone I was fucking with. Oh, I ain't know. Yeah, I seen that shit on the gram. Okay. I took that shit, yeah. Did she know you took her, her name? Probably, yeah, because I tried to buy the ad name. <laughs> the ad name just... Just Tekka. Okay. So, like, you know, how was it, you know, growing up in Queens and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? Because Queens is a little rough, especially the part that you kind of grew up in. Queens is cool, bro. I used to just go to the park every day during the summer, do my school shit, chill, play the game. I want some chill shit. Yo, Eat so good food. Speaking of playing the game, you used to play Xbox and shit like that, and that's how kind of... play Xbox. You still? Yo, I seen you yesterday at the 2K event. You be yeah. playing 2K and shit? I still, I was playing 2K this morning. Or you got it early and shit? Nah, I'm just really on the game that much. Like, you could get the game early without getting the game early. How? You just gotta know, and it's not even through knowing anymore. You can do that shit yourself. If well, you, you got a, you got a know, PC? It's not even no big secret. You got a PC? No, I got an Xbox. I do that shit on my Xbox. So you don't play on on a PC and shit? I don't play no PC games. I just play Xbox so or I, console, whatever. Besides 2K, what you be playing? Call of Duty. I'm big on Call of Duty. Warzone. I don't play Warzone. I play oh, like right really Call of Duty. Like Warzone is like Battle Royale. It's cool, but I really play Call of Duty. Well, what's your KD? My KD. You know, you know. I peak my big just try hard era of my life. I probably held a two point five KD. Real life. Damn, you a gamer, gamer. Real life, yeah. Right, okay. So I see you got an album coming out. You know, uh, September twenty second. Can you kind of talk about the album? What we kind of expect on the album? Of course, the singles that I drop is definitely a preview to the vibe, like 500 Pounds, Heaven on Earth. I definitely have similar vibes like that on there. Um, 
A few of my favorite songs are similar vibes on there like that. 500 Pounds is my favorite song. Thank I'm not so gonna much, lie. Thank that you so much. I really appreciate that. What is I feel like that song especially? I'm kind of embracing a different direction of my creativity, and to see like people also embracing it is fine. Yeah, definitely. It, I can't wait to hear that album for real. Are you dropping a deluxe or no? I don't really know about all the deluxe stuff, but if if it's requested, maybe. So like um what is your favorite song on the on the track? I mean on the My favorite song on the album isn't even out yet. I'm gonna be real with you. Is there a name for it? Of course it's a name for it. I don't know if you can announce it. Can you announce the name? It's it's called Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive. Alive. What's the vibe to that? Like it sounds crazy, like Dead or Alive, but it giving like a little Halloween vibe. It's not by coincidence that it's called Dead or Alive, but one of my favorite games growing up is called Dead or Alive. It's like this fighting game. So Is it the zombie one? No, it's not a zombie game. It's like a fighting game with like characters. I gotta look that up. Yeah, it's really cool. Like actually. some Street Fighter shit or no? Yeah, on some shit like that. It's really cool though. Um, but the vibes is like also embracing different type of production, you feel me? But keeping it real still on the tracks and being myself, of course. I yeah. see, I see, I see you are yourself. Like, I could kind of see it. I appreciate that. I'll fuck with you with Um, so, like, you know, like, what, what, who was some of the people you were listening to while you was, you know, growing up and shit like that? Everybody knows this. Chief Keef, um, Coldplay. First album Coldplay. I ever bought was a Coldplay album. Oh, shit. Yeah, and, um, first album I ever listened to was a Michael Jackson album. I found a CD player in my house, and... It was the Dangerous album, actually. I just listened to that shit, like, front to back, front to back as a kid. I don't really know Coldplay too much like that. Man. Yeah, Coldplay, it was, it was pretty fire back then to me. So you, like, into, like, rock a little bit and shit like that? I mean, not really. Because you call yourself a rock star, you know what I'm saying? I never called myself a rock star. You give that rock star, like, look and shit, you know? I appreciate that. I don't really like to put myself in a box, though. So I feel like I'm just me. I have to ask you, what you think about this whole hyper-pop sound that's out now because when when you was coming up you 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 started the angelic wave now it's hyper pop like what's your take on the whole hyper pop sound i think it's all amazing i think all that is amazing it's fire it's different it's confident it's creative um i think it's super fire who are some of the artists you fucking with out of the hyper pop i guess scene i guess you could call it um probably i ain't gonna lie i'm really fucking with a lot of people, bro. Not anyone I'm just gonna like stamp like that, put in the concrete, you know? Nah, for you. Um, but. I see he was fucking with Sofago. I don't know if he's categorized oh, as yeah, hyper pop. So, nah, Sofago, I don't think that's hyper pop, bro. Um, I wouldn't say that. Definitely fire, though. Yeah, it was. You yeah. produced Knock Knock. Like, what, what, what was the inspiration behind that? There's no inspiration. We was the inspiration behind that. It was just, just doing what we do. Like, we don't even think about it. We just waking up and. Being creative, bro. I just sang him that beat, for real. What What made you want to start getting into producing? I wanted to get into producing before I wanted to rap, but oh, for real? that whole world of producing was a little bit too complex to me at the time. It looked like the, the whole interface of FL Studio looked like there was so many buttons and shit. So I was like, nah, I'm going to just do the rap and shit. And I ended up, because I started rapping on Band Lab originally. Yo, why Ooh, everybody so, started bro. on Band Lab? I heard is, that's like... Yeah, but this is back in like 2017, though, 2018. Um, and then I moved to FL Studio, and once I started like trying to become a producer, I was already kind of familiar with certain screens in the program, but I just didn't know what they did, and it was kind of simple to learn from there. So Ransom, your biggest song, like, can you kind of explain, like, did you think it was going to go crazy, or like, is there any inspiration behind it? I definitely thought it was a good song when I made it, for sure, for sure. Um, to predict how big that song was in itself very unfathomable I can't really just like guess that I definitely thought it was great though for sure was the Cole Bennett shit real when he wrote that there was um, girls in Dominican Republic and you declined them to pull up or something something like that he wrote it on the end of the whatever movie. you saw is what you saw <laughs> what, what like was that a lot for you at the moment? Like, you was kind of fresh, like, into the scene, and, like, you know, girls are throwing themselves on you, and you kind of was like, eh. I mean, like, it's the scene, man. Like, you got to gotta move how you move. You can't get lost into it. You got to just get what I you mean, you was in the auto, my boy. Like. <laughs> hey, you got to do your thing, man. Nah, I'm yeah. 
So um, where do people can find you at? Like on Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff? Everything is Lil Tecca. If it's not Lil Tecca, it's not me. Unless it's Tecca Romani or Tecca Vassetti. Can you give any of my viewers um, any words of inspiration? Like anybody that looks up to you wants to start doing music? Do you have any words of motivation? Just look at the people you're inspired by. Even if you were inspired by my mans right here, look at him. I know two years ago, three years ago, you wasn't doing what you're doing right now. You feel me? You're doing it now, though. And that, what was that all for? Being consistent, actually believing in yourself, being real. You feel me? Taking a chance, going up to these certain people that could always say no to you. Could always I'm, I, just yo, be like, yo, I'm surprised fuck this guy. But, you, you know, you took those chances, bro. And that's really all it's about. Everything you want is on the other side of those taking chances and taking those risks. It's I, us. That's what the risk. Like, so I yeah, was like, I gotta be my favorite rapper. Like you, literally my favorite rapper. Thank you everybody, so much, bro, like, for real. like that, that really means. And, a lot. and you know what's crazy? Like, like when when people ask me who's my favorite artist, and I tell them you my favorite artist, look, people look at me like a weird. Like they could be like they could be like, yo, you could have said anybody, Kanye, Drake, Travis, whatever. Like, but I always gotta say little type. Yeah, but I fuck you with could also shit. take that in mind. And say the safer route. Say someone that they will probably agree with that you could probably make a conversation yeah. off of. But she's like, nah, fuck, nah that. fuck that. I jack what I jack. Yeah, and that's right. what I jack about you. You feel me? You nah, want your shit? And that's why we here right now, man. Support my man. Subscribe. Whatever platform you want. Follow Thank him. You, Notifications. You, we here. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. You look like one, one of those ants from Ant. What was that movie? Um. Fuck, what was that movie? That Disney movie. Ants. No, I don't be watching that. You never, watch it? You never saw that? You that ugly, my boy. Oh! I fuck with you, though. You're so, like, nonchalant. Like, you mad cool and shit. I thought you would, like, want to beat me up or something. No, you the cool one, gang.